One of the big challenges in getting your glutes to work properly is going from simple exercises to the squat. So that is what we are gonna talk about now. How do you make sure your bum is fully activated in your squat so you can get the most power and stability possible? By this point, you should have a good sense of whether or not you're sort of able to actually just engage those muscles just by kind of thinking about them. So that's kind of what you wanna do as we're going through this drill. So you're gonna set up for your squat, you're gonna grip your feet into the floor. So think about a tripod between the big toe, little toe, and heel. That foot contact is essential, not just for your stability, but for your butt to work properly. And then what you wanna think about doing is screwing your feet or your thighs into the floor. So once you have that set, you're gonna just maintain that tension all the way down as low as possible, and then drive up. On the drive up, you wanna imagine that you're leading with your bum muscles. So just like when you push a kid on a swing set, imagine someone is sort of pushing you up right by your butt um, so that right out of the bottom, the hips are extending and I'm squeezing here versus kind of staying relaxed and then just finishing strong with my glutes. You need to be able to feel that tension the entire time. To screw the feet in, you wanna imagine like your thighs are like screwdrivers that you're gonna be rotating out. So I'm screwing my feet this way, almost like I'm trying to make my foot turn out like this, except it's essential that I don't allow the weight of my foot to change. My big toe, little toe, and heel stay in place, firmly contacting the ground. I don't let my feet turn out. I just rotate out from the hips and I try to maintain that outward tension all the way down, never letting it uh, dissipate. What a lot of you might find at first is that you're able to maintain that tension for only a partial range of motion. So I can get down this low, and then I start feeling like I lose that tension. So if that's happening to you, what you wanna start with is just working to the limit of where you're able to maintain that tension, come back up, do multiple reps, like high repetition sets of that, like 10 or 15 reps, and then over time start working on, you know, being able to find that tension lower and lower and lower. And that process may take, you know, a week, two, three weeks even, but you should be able to get there with consistent practice. Once you can do that with body weight, then I would start practicing that with a goblet squat, and then you can start incorporating it into all of your barbell movements.